And what this looks like, each of these applications available on, again, under the apps tab, you can go to the apps tab and just kind of click on one of them. And when you do so, it tells you all about it. You could even, in many cases, download the source code and put this on your own website if you're that ambitious. But it's just as easy for you to just embed this application into your stories. And what we try to do on Living Atlas Team is bring the data to life. We always want to not just show a map, but also tell you a little bit more about what's going on in an area. So usually you can, almost every time, you can click on the map and get additional information about that particular part of the country. In this case, I love this example, this air quality app, because it comply, combines infrastructure, all the air quality monitoring stations. It combines that with um, the environment, the air quality measurements itself, and the people. It tells you something about the demographics of the region that I just clicked on, and something about you know, how many workers are at risk to air quality issues. And we try to do that similar with things like the Water Balance app. Or this is one of Keith's favorite, thing, favorite maps and apps, the US vessel traffic, where you can take a peek at different types of uh, movements of ships around this area. We've got a historical topo map explorer, where you can look at all the different topo maps available um, for a given area of the US. Or if you want to explore sea ice, there's an app for that. Again, with a map, interactive components that let you kind of explore the data and find a story. With wildfires, we have this app available 24-7, 365 to track all the active fires. It's always surprising to me that there are fires in Georgia and Florida. I never knew that till I saw apps like this. And some other interesting things, Ecological Marine Unit Explorer, um, as I said, we have a hurricane aware app, and I'm grateful to report there are no hurricanes on the map right now. We have a drought explorer where when you click on a county, it shows you a 20 year history of drought in this area. So at a glance, you can see this dark brown color tells us in 2021, this particular county in New Mexico is in the worst long term sequence of drought that it has ever experienced in the past 20 years. There's your story, there's your angle. And other things like tra tra tracking the uh, COVID pandemic at a state and a county level. This COVID pulse application kind of gives you strong visuals of where things have calmed down or where things are still an issue. And a similar approach with unemployment, again, at the county and the state level.